Hi everyone, Kim here with Sunshine Creations. Um, I am so excited. I cannot believe it's just the simple things in life that completely excite me. Um, several years ago when I started scrapbooking, I started looking into all the Cricut cartridges that there were available. I um, was quite overwhelmed, but I came across this one here that I wanted really bad. And um, at that time it was retired and the only place you could get it was on like eBay or Amazon and people were asking over $100 for it. So I put it out of my mind and I thought, I'm just not supposed to have this one. Um, at the time, both of my sons were younger in elementary school and junior high and I was, you know, volunteering and room mom and that kind of thing. And I just wanted this cartridge because it um, has all these cute little party box things and that kind of stuff and I just thought it would be really fun to, to use that with the schools but anyway so two days ago I met at Michael's and I walked over to the um, um, cupboard thing that they have with all the cartridges and here sat that cartridge and it was on sale for $40 so I bought it and I'm really excited about it and it's perfect timing because I want to make this shirt box um, in a doctor's theme for my girlfriend's husband who's actually a friend of mine for Father's Day and um, I've made this one just once so um, I'm going to go through it with you and I'm, I might flunder a little bit but we'll figure it out okay um, the shirt box is actually on page 44 and you cut this out here if you have an expressions I cut it fit to page and it came out to be 11 inches and it cuts out the tie and the pocket I'm not sure what that is because I haven't used that yet and then you can do um, the shadow and then put this on top of that, which I opted not to do that. I just went for that. And then the tag feature cuts out this tie, which will go on top of here. And then you have your lapel. Um, I think that's it for there. Now, because he's a doctor, I remembered that on my wild card cricket cartridge, there was um, a doctor related card. So I'm going to be using the icon. RX and the stethoscope um, in addition to that. Now I'm going to be also using a sheet of paper, or this is actually scrap, my dog barking again, from um, Color Book. I got this at Walmart. Um, it's got a lot of really nice, um, several masculine sheets of paper, um, which I always have a hard time finding. Um, making masculine cards. And um, for the actual box, I also get this at Walmart, and, and this is such a bargain. It's five dollars. It's color book, and it's pretty pretty thick cardstock, but it has a little texture to it, which I really like, and it's great for um, scrapbooking. Now I saved the mat for you to show you what it looks like. It's really as big as it's going to get. Um, I even tried it with my Gypsy to bring it out to eleven and a half, and it got to the point where it was cutting off the edges so I guess we're gonna have to stick with 11 inches which is fine it's a cute little party favor box um, I'm actually gonna use it for a gift card which is fine um, okay so let's take this off the mat and then here is the tie and the pocket I'm gonna set that aside now there's no um, tick lines for this box but I, I think we're okay with it. Let's flip this around so that the texture part is on the outside. So let's just start by going ahead. You can use your scoreboard but I just didn't find it necessary. Um, if you feel like it would, it would um, fold better that's fine you can do that. So that's going to be part of the box. I'm going to come around and um, fold these in trying to Make it as even as you can. It will make your box come together better. Line this up. Bring it in just a little bit so that it's all the way to the edge. Now you can use score tape or you can use um, your strong glue. Um, I found that this worked just fine. It took a few minutes to to dry completely. So 
can't really move your box around too much until it dries, but it does work really well. Again, we're going to line this up like so. Let's go ahead and fold these in as well. I'm trying to do this so that my hand isn't in the way of the camera. All right, flip this around. Fold that in, and then the last thing you're going to fold in, oh, not the last thing, I guess, is the shirt, and you want to get that nice and even with this so that when your box folds up, it will fold up nicely. Might even want to bring it in a little bit. Bring it up. Like so. And then this is the shirt, the collar. So we're going to do that sort of the opposite way. Bring it down like so. So eventually what will happen is um, you're going to put that like so. But I'm going to do something just a little bit different, kind of cute for that. All right, so let's go ahead and put our box together. Um, put our glue down. There are kids outside playing. And my dogs are just going crazy because they like to play with the kids. Okay, see how I'm just kind of lining that up? Like so. And then another one just like that. Okay, see the glue isn't dry yet and I'm moving the box around. So. Okay, so. Do your thing. Stick my hand in there, kind of give it a nudge. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and glue this. You know, I have never been really good at um, assembling things. Like, you know, you buy those shelves or whatever and it comes in a billion pieces. Um, I just get way too frustrated. But you know, I sat down and opened this cartridge up, started looking through. Um, I'm going to take a second here just to show you the book that it comes in. I mean, the book that comes with it. And it's got um, assembly instructions as well as the manual. So, bravo for ProvoCraft because they have people like me that make their products. Okay, so we're gonna go like this, like this. Drop that down. Even it out. And the glue is now officially drying. I'm gonna try and get that as straight as possible. It'll look better. And the glue for me works um, I like it to use the glue because then, you know, you have some forgiveness time where if you need to move it around versus score or adhesive tape, um, you know, it tends to stick it pretty good. So if you make a mistake, you rip it up and that's it. You rip your little product. Okay, so, whoops, bumped the camera. Sorry about that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close this up. It'll help with the drying process with the glue and we're going to go ahead and start designing the front now it comes like this which I decided that I this was the jacket of the the coat jacket of the doctor and it's not a formal sort of thing so I've decided he needs a, a little bit of a slit here so let's go ahead and we're gonna cut this like so glue this on Let's see if I get this on right okay that's gonna go on that side 
that's going to go there. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see this, but I think you get the gist. Okay, so there's his collar there. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure if that's on right. Looks like it is, but it's kind of off a little. And then this is going to go here. So I want to make sure I put the glue on the right side. <laughs> I made a card the other day. Got it all done. I'm like, wow, this really turned out so pretty. And then realized that I had put it on upside down. So a lot of times I find myself rushing and um, I get interruptions. I've got two teenage boys that are home for the summer and sometimes my, my brain just does those things. Okay, so this is drying. I put a little bit too much on so it's going to take a few minutes. This video is going to take too long. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take make a very small, I'm going to say maybe a half inch slit. Come on, Dre. <clears throat> and I'm not going to actually score it down. I'm just going to kind of fold it out. Like so. And then behind here, I'm going to put a blue piece of paper. My dog's about to bark again. That's going to be too tall, so I'm going to trim it down. That's going to look like his shirt. So. Let's trim that down. Go on, go bark outside. Go on. Put this down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's a miniature schnauzer. A little white one. Big bad dog. Go on. And that's Gunther. Okay, so let's lay that back here. See, that looks like his little shirt now. Well, not little, he's a grown man. But, um, I think this is probably about a half inch. Get that straight. Like so. Okay, now the one thing that I added, I should have done this before I glued it together, but we'll go like that. I'm just going to put some black faux stitching along his sleeve. See if it were flat, it would be a little better. Again, my hand is probably in the way. All right, so we're with that. Now, we got to put on the pocket, which is right here. Now, I think um, I'm going to use some black color box ink and just sort of, yeah, give it a little. While I have this off here, I'm going to go ahead and do my faux stitching here. And I'm going to pop this onto his shirt. And bring it down a little bit because I need to put his stethoscope in there. Which I'm going to hang down like that. Looks like I'm going to need a little bit of glue about right there that goes down in the pocket and then just dab it here and there. Wow. He's really upset, isn't he? Oh, my pocket's on crooked. I am so sorry about those dogs. Alright, so let's tuck that down so it kind of hangs down in front of him. like so. Again with the pocket. Okay, now that I've got a RX that I cut out, I'm going to put that right there. Goodness gracious. 
It doesn't have to be straight. It can even, you know, hang off a little. But you got to be careful with this glue because when it dries, it dries shiny. I didn't want that to happen, so. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to put on the Happy Father's Day. And um, the first cut that I made, I cut it out at um, 2 inches, which you could put here, like this. But I opted to do something a little different. First, I'm going to go ahead and glue on my... Oops, my tie. This is the tag feature. And um, all the details of this, as far as the cut size and everything, will be on my blog. So you can check that out. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to glue the Happy Father's Day right there so it kind of sticks out. Just like that. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, you know, this can be used as a gift card holder. Um, I guess you could also put maybe a small bottle of cologne in there. Um, let's see what else could go in there. Maybe some little goodies if he has a favorite chocolate or something like that. You can put that in there. And um, gosh, I think that is it. For this, you could also put um, maybe some black buttons down the front, which I don't actually have small enough black buttons. Um, you could use a pearl pin, a black pearl pin, and bring those down there. Or if you have, um, oh, a hole punch, you could punch black, small black um, circles and make the the buttons down like that which I may actually do off camera once I'm done okay well um, like I said if you want some more information about this the details on the cuts and stuff um, it'll be on my blog um, a little bit later this afternoon and okay thank you very much and thanks for letting me share this with you I'm really excited about this I'm going to be doing some more um, tutorials on um, the tags bags boxes and more um, if anybody has any information they can share with me on this, um, I would appreciate it. And thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.